Stefano called Kaylin Thukungua, and you'll be hanging out with me today on Frish. A great episode lined up for you, so stay locked and check it out. I'm a 22 year old female athlete. Do you have eyes on the target? Yes, sir. Most people would know me from TikTok or some sort of sport. <laughs> we'll be making sock puppet versions of each other while we answer your questions. And today, we're talking about the E word, expectations. Kia ora, Rangi. I had no idea you were coming. Mmm. Nga mehe. Talofa, pula, malo, elele, talohani, and warm Pacific greetings. From here in Kirikiri Roa, that's right, in the beautiful big Waikato. <laughs> After three years, New Zealand's biggest rugby party has returned to Hamilton. It's also its 22nd birthday, and by the look of some of these fans, I think they're here more for the birthday party than they are for the rugby party. Is that right, boys? You guys here for the rugby, or I'm just gonna. <laughs> What's the most rowdy place in the world that you've played in? Always New Zealand, man. Yeah. Playing in New Zealand is the best. You have the most support, especially all the communities around here. Oh, just an awesome feeling. So I think this is like kind of the mecca of the circuit, seeing the, the culture that I always like looked up to. Let's go. It's been awesome to kind of have the Sevens come up here and then we can like get together with all our Polynesian communities. Are you guys feeling confident with Samoa at the top of the table? Oh, very. Oh, we took Cape Town, we're taking Hamilton this time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, no doubt about it. Fiji, eh? Not Samoa. Oh, oh. How does it feel playing back in New Zealand? Good, bro. Can't remember how old my kids were the last time, but it's awesome to be able to run out on the field, bro, and um, see them cheering. Go and give them a cuddle after the game is probably the most special part about being um, back at home. You know, sometimes you can't really describe it, but you feel it. Oh, oh, um, what's the inspiration behind the costume, bro? Oh, I don't know, like, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh, <laughs> keep it fresh! Keep, keep it fresh! And how's it feel we playing back in New Zealand? Oh, I love it here, especially in Hamilton. So I always say this is the best stadium in the world, the best field. It's so immaculate, you know, the grass is just the perfect length. Um, but it's cool because <laughs> so many people here turning up for us. Although I do feel like we're in front of Fiji only today. See, I was a, gonna see ask a blue flag? Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the whole wide world, there's always like lots of the Fiji. So <laughs> <laughs> they got this must have a Facebook page and they all meet together. Did you think you were playing in Hamilton today or were you playing in Suva? Yeah. <laughs> we are rugby crazy as you know. We have a big support card here. Our support system is like playing back home but in Hamilton. We're we doing Fiji! Fakawe Lai Mahaki Fresh fans for joining me here at what may be the last New Zealand Sevens on home soil. I feel lucky to be here, but I also feel a little bit sad. I think the best thing I can do is go in there and give my full 100 support to our Pacifica brothers and sisters teams that are still in this competition. Go New Zealand! Until Fiji scores, and then we go, go Fiji! Who are you guys going for? Fiji. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Regan Weir here from the All Black Sevens team. John Ika, play for Tonga. Yunus Basse, Fiji. My name is Stacey Flulas. Hola, Jerry Tuai, Team Fiji. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh! Keep it fresh, always. My name is Moya Salangi Shranki, but you can call me Atta. Welcome to my area code. We are in Darling Harbour, Sydney, Australia. I will be showing you guys some of my favourite places to visit if you're in Darling Harbour. So, let's go. 
we are here at the National Maritime Museum. This holds a very special place in my heart because when I was around six years old, traditional Pacific Island ships had sailed right in this harbour. I had performed with my mum and a few of my other Matavai members to raise awareness of climate change and how it is affecting our Pacific Island. So yeah, this is a very special place. What I like to do with my family is come here to Darling Harbour and unwind. I like to get an ice cream. Cookies and cream is my favourite flavour, of course. But I also love to go on the Ferris wheel. It's just a fun time to unwind and relax after a long day of performing or classes at Matavai. I also love coming to this place. This is called the Australian Museum and the exhibitions inside are so amazing and if you ever get the chance, you should really come by and check it out. Right here where we're standing, I actually led and performed for a climate change protest that I was a part of. And during this time, my sister, Moimuana Shrenki, was actually in Glasgow during the COP26, marching for climate change as well. Thank you guys for tuning in with my area code. I really enjoyed showing you guys around. I hope you guys had fun and keep it fresh. We just finished at the field. I'm sweaty now, so that's lovely. But we're gonna go to the gym now. I asked my best friend to come along, so you guys are gonna meet her. Welcome back to Fresh Farno. We are currently in the Point Chevalier Changing Rooms, who I played rugby league for. And come learn more about that in my world. Is it recording? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Referee calls time on. Matibata Tonga and the Kiwi Ferns. And we're underway. 80 minutes of hot rugby league. I ended up going over to the UK for the World Cup. But it was like in a stadium and it was huge. Being in the New Zealand jersey versus being in a club jersey can feel different, but I honestly felt the same, just being able to represent who I am. I think my Polynesian side makes up a lot of who I am and I'm very proud to represent that. I think I always remember that whenever I am playing, like I'm playing for my Polynesian people and I hope that it encourages other Polynesian women and young people especially to do what makes them happy and do what they love. I feel like my culture is, means everything to me. <laughs> Kia ora whanau. come with me to... This is our cameraman. No! <laughs> We're just out into our changing rooms. My full name is Caitlin Saloni Chirik Bahakoro. I'm a 22-year-old female athlete. Do you have eyes on the target? Yes, sir. Most people would know me from TikTok or some sort of sport. <laughs> this is where we have, like, our pre-game encouraging pep talk all together as a team. When I first debuted for Point Chevalier, this was the room that we were in. The first time that the coaches came in, they basically just gave us a really encouraging talk. And before that happened, I couldn't remember how that felt. And um, yeah, this room makes me feel encouraged. It makes me feel inspired. And it means so much to me to be here. Anyways, so that's the changing room. Now we're going to go out to the fields so I can show you guys how amazing I am. We're currently on the fields that I train at for my rugby league team. It's called Walker Park. This is where the magic happens. Rugby means a lot of things to me. For me, it's passion, it's achieving your dream. I think rugby is an outlet for me to express things that I can't maybe say in words. It means strength as well, and confidence. I remember my best friend asking me to come and play for my first club, and I didn't want to play, and I said no, but she somehow convinced me. I didn't think that I was good enough to make, like, to become a professional athlete in that sense, but in one of our games, a, like, a re representative scout came out and he, he asked me to play for the rep team, and yeah, from there, it just, I kind of, just went so fast. 
What I get up to on a day is I wake up, train in the morning, try to eat something. If I have work that day, I'll go to work. If I don't, I'll go on my phone and then train again at night. We just finished at the fields. I'm sweaty now, so that's lovely. But we're going to go to the gym now. I asked my best friend to come along, so you guys are going to be here. What's your name? My name is Kayla. And she comes to the gym as well. Well, mainly because I force her to. Come and surround with us at the gym. On social media, I'm definitely an advocate of encouragement and support. I just try and be myself, I guess. Get off. And hope that that liberates other people to do the same. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a journey of self-discovery with my culture because not being brought up around it, I guess, like comes with shame and like I'm still learning to process that right, like to this day and I'm still trying to get over it myself. I went to a university, a Wananga, when I was 20 years old. It was like a full year course just learning about the language itself. And now I can speak and understand and it's something I'm really proud of. Kayla's a big part of my world, but don't tell her that I said that because she'll get a big head. It's such a spiritual and poetic language and it's definitely changed my perception of, of the world and just definitely made me, I guess, think deeper. The fact that I can do that, I hold that very close to my heart and I don't, I don't take it lightly, yeah. Ke hau nei ki te ako te Māori, he me nui nga te mea. Mena ka kōrero hau ki e tahi atu tangata ka tae au ki te whakatea tēnā ki a rātou, ki te ako hoki i te reo. E hara i te reo Māori ana ke e ngari i ngā reo katoa. Ai. I think my strength lies in my culture. The way like I hold myself, knowing I'm a Māori Tongan woman just feels so different to it as if, if I were a white person. And because I know of the struggle that my ancestors have gone through, I want to represent that and, and carry that with, with strength. I definitely want to become a black friend one day. That's definitely my goal, like maybe in the near future. I guess after sport, I'd love to do something with Indigenous youth. I'm really passionate about that. And just the mental wellbeing of Polynesian people. I'd love to like create a program that just helps people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd like to get uh, married, maybe. <laughs> See how that goes. I'll decide like <laughs> in, in a few years. <laughs> We're done. Cut. <laughs>
Go for a walk, go for a roam, reevaluate, sit down, tell an all, discuss it. With well, yourself? Yeah, I feel like if I, if I ever feel where I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, I need, to, I need to address the reasons why I feel disappointed in myself. Discourse with yourself, important. Oh well, that's the end of our segment, Ask Micromen, but we'll now be performing a number with our sock puppets that we created about expectations. They were soaring, flying. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The supper suey, mm -hmm. it tastes like you've been cooking every dang day for the last 25 years. <laughs> Oh, lovely supper, sweet musky. Can't wait to try. Yes, it is. I can't wait for you to try it. Your mother makes a beautiful one. Oh, but that's a give. You want to try mine? <laughs> I can't wait. Well, mum made raw fish. I'm excited to get to it. Mmm, looks lovely. Cucumber galore. Okay, uh, let's do noku. <laughs> It's a sea in Mato Lefana. Ah, Capiki Ora, Capiki Ka, Capiki Marmatanga, Kinga, Munga, Ringa, the hands that uh, prepared the sky and they washed them. Mm. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Fa Mole Molea, please protect us from food poisoning. I long for Luali Marfingale. Ah, Capiki Ano, Koteka. And in the name of all Atua, Matua, and Tamawai uh, Tapu, I rebuke all choking hazards. Te pato mataika, upuna. Watch them. Amene. Hi. Okay. Lovely karakia. Interesting. Thank you, Leah. If I've said, darling. No, please. I'm on a diet. Yeah, you've got bread on your plate. Supper so is not going to hurt your diet. It's actually lovely. I made that myself. I can't wait to try it. But see, my little coffee is really sweet. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. That's my little. Feed them a call first. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Goodness gracious, you've got more cucumber oh. than uh, Kayadika. Yes. You know, it's funny. Um, you know, what? I've. Um, it seems that we've. Me and Mokopuna and your daughter are, are all dressed the same. My gosh, but you came like you were off to a tangi or got back from one. Oh, well, it's one. funny, I didn't see you on, yeah. on that stage with the kids doing your go look. Or they no. didn't pass them out this No, we don't go on stages no. and do fight or we leave that for the men. Vayasia Ophelia, your siva was so beautiful today mm -hmm. and so graceful, just like your Nana Bell. It's graceful. <laughs> You're joking. Maybe you should have taught her some things. You would have done it better. Mm. Oh, it's nice to see you. Hello, honey. Yeah, Ma. Hello. You go up so fast. I'm glad you look oh. like your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are me. Oh, oh, oh it's God. been a long time. Oh, yes. too long. Yep. You take this chair. You have this one. No, you sit down. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. Mm. All right. I take it. Whoa, Aroha Mai Fano. I've just been called on to work. We should on doctors today, so uh, I gotta go to the hospital. Oh, Bye, Dad. Go, you go, son. And it's your father. You go, you save lives. That's what that's what we do. We save lives. Where's my son? You know, Dad. He's um, at church talking to the Faithy Owl. Wow, and you, Eddie. I didn't think I felt good since I don't got all work. Wow. Not good. Mm, not good. She'll be right. Mm. Bella, my alma see my family. Oh, I'll get it. No, you sit down. She's already up. Mm. Well, you know, Bella's on the diet. Diet? Yeah. She didn't put much uh, salt to the into the to the oka, but my chop suey. Now then. Oh, diet. I don't think mm. she understands what diet is. Mm, no, she she she's trying to. 
But you know my cooking, eh? Try this chop suey. I'm actually one of the best at the marae for, um, for bringing in new uh, dishes. All my cooking is like... Huh. My son is lucky to have a kind of cooked meal in your old marriage. No, no. Hey, to pay her the koi, darling. Hmm. Get here, Kai Granny. Are you staying for Kungai? Kao, no ho. Have your Kai, Bab. Well, well, well. Kia ora, Rangi. I had no idea you were coming. Hmm. Nga mehe. She's lying, eh? Mm. I cooked home cooked meals for my mate. 25 years, I did everything before he can't do. Yeah, me. Done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, you're not going to wait for your husband to eat? Honestly, if I waited for that man to arrive home, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to do this diet, hey? But he arrives at home, 10 p.m. every night, every mm. damn night. Well, who no good son, eh? You know, never said, kia ora, nga mihi. No thank you for me. The whole time, the whole, I did everything, everything. She's been giving me marriage advice like she's raised some amazing man. <laughs> hey, and then turns around and tells me off for not doing any dishes. He wasn't even home trained. Oh, so no. He wasn't even home trained. He didn't even know how to do his going on there. She don't know what she's doing. I know, I know. Are you kidding me? Gosh, I, I mean, the tote, I have to say, he's beautiful. The tote in here. You're wrong, girl. Really? The oka's beautiful. Oh, how's that? It's one of the best. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. The supper sui, mm -hmm. it tastes like you've been cooking every dang day for the last 25 years. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Make you think they're darling. Look at them. Yeah. Mm. South Auckland, thank you so much for chilling with me today. And until next week, stay fresh.